So why three lasers? Well, there is a story to that. So this first laser was sent about three months ago, worked for one day, then stopped working. They then sent this replacement, which worked for one day, then stopped working. Today, after three months, I've received this laser. It's exhausting. <laughs> So to be clear, I didn't buy all three lasers. I mean, they cost the price of a small family car. But the I bought the first one, which had failed. Uh, the second two were replacements. So I worked very closely with the manufacturer um, to find out what the problem was, because most of their stuff is shipped to the US and they don't have any problems. We managed to narrow that down to a small logic board inside, which controls the mirrors, which directs the lasers. Now, this is one of many logic boards, but this one was still set to 110, which is why it was failing after some time. So we managed to correct the problem. The manufacturer is very happy. So they refunded me in full and sent me a replacement. So it, it was a win-win for, for both of us. So it works, which is great. Now I still need to play with some settings and make some tweaks to make sure I get that consistent, very deep, dark black etch on steel. Um, but it works, so for those who don't know, it's like any other CNC machine. You connect to a computer, you do your design work, which will then send G-code to the laser. Now G-code is a series of coordinates and instructions which the, which the laser can understand. So th there's many ways you can change things. So we can have slightly different colors with the laser and you can change that by changing the frequency, which is almost the pulse width of the, of the laser. The speed, which is like a feed rate on, like an, on a mill, that kind of thing. And obviously the laser power. But I'm really happy with the results. So make sure you subscribe and there'll be plenty of other laser videos coming very soon.